Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Thomas the Great coming back at y'all with another video. First and foremost, I hope everybody's staying safe during this COVID-19. Let's make sure we all is uh, self-quarantining, only going out when necessary, and taking up uh, the right protective precautions um, if need to go out so that we don't bring this thing back home to our family or loved ones. Um, so with that being said, today I want to talk about mind and body. Um, mind and body goes together just like the letters Q and U. In biblical text, it tells us a way that we can figure out what's inside a person's heart. So what do they tell us on that note? Well, biblical text states that out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. So whatever person speak about a lot, that's what's in their heart. So whatever is in a person mental is a direct reflection of their body. You ever seen a person back in the day um, who had a good physique, seemed like they was making good conscious decisions in life, was always surrounding themselves with good people that was supporting them, staying positive, just had a lot of good things going on for them. Later on in life, it looks as if life got the best of them. It looked like, you know, they gained a few extra pounds, um, it seemed like their mental isn't in a right state of mind as it was before. It seemed like the people that they're hanging with isn't supporting them uh, in a right way or in a needed way as they should. It seemed like they're not speaking as positive as they was before. Why is that? It's because their mental is broken. I'm a direct reflection of that. What I'm speaking, I'm actually speaking to myself. I've got this revelation last night and I woke up with this and I felt that I had to share. Sometimes we go about things in our life starting at the finish line, meaning that we try to do things to get our body right and we be upset with ourselves when we fail at it over and over and over again. Because we starting at the finish line. <laughs> I know it sounds crazy, but it's, it's a real deal. So a lot of people say you got to be consistent in your life with anything that you do. You have to be consistent. You have to give it time. You have to be patient. You have to believe and see something before it even happens. Well, I know me, myself, speaking on me. That I didn't try so many times to get my body right outside and in. Try to work out, try to eat right, um, try to sit there and do things to give me more energy. I do that, you know, for a few weeks, few months. And then next thing you know, <laughs> same thing over and over and over again. Sometimes, you know, I'll be in a little state of depression. You know, because I know that there's more to life than just this. And I ask myself, why do I keep falling in the same holes over and over and over again? It's like I know what is going to bring me down before I even do it. But I do it anyway. <laughs> so why is that? What well, answer I got last night was that my mental was broken. I, I, I haven't gotten my mind right. I haven't built up enough mental toughness to be able to withstand the hard times when they come, when I'm trying to sit there and do things to get my body in line. You can try all day to sit there and do what you want to get your physique right, to eat right, to speak right. But if your mental ain't right, 
man, you're going to fall in that same hole over and over and over again. And what you do, all you're doing is pulling on your self-esteem. Your self-esteem is getting lower, 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 lower until you fall in depression and don't even know how to get yourself out. Instead of sitting there trying to work out, trying to eat right, all them things is vital in life. They're very necessary to sustain a good life. But what's most important is that you have to get your mind right. We know how to work out and get our body right. We know how to eat right to get the internal part of our bodies right. But how you build mental toughness. Instead of spending all day giving all your energy and time away to a company. Giving all your energy and time away to friends. To co-workers. Even a family. If you're not in the right state of mind. You have to make sure you're balancing all that stuff out with self-reflection, spending self-time with just yourself. You have to sit there and meditate. You have to look at your life, look at where you were before and where you are now and where you want to be. Meditate on these things and then come up with goals to reach self esteem, to reach high self esteem, to reach high self respect. Don't try to focus on anything else. Do what you have to do to build your self esteem up, to build your mental toughness up. If you believe in a higher power, I advise you pray every day. If you meditate, even if you don't meditate, I recommend meditating. Just spend time in an empty room reflecting on yourself. Because too many times we look at people for inspiration, for motivation, people that appear on the outside to be where we want to be. The greatest asset you have in this life is yourself. The most powerful tool in this life that you are living is your mind. The greatest enemy and adversary you're going to face in this world and in your lifetime <laughs> is not the devil. Is yourself. So until you learn how to beat yourself. Mentally. Not just because you can go through a challenge and overcome it. Not just because you can take the right steps to outthink somebody. And get where you want to be in life. No. It's not that. But until you learn how to beat yourself. Mentally, when your mind try to lead you down a path of destruction, slowly but surely, when you learn how to start beating yourself with weak desires, then you will start overcoming yourself. Then you will start beating the enemy. Then you will start building self-esteem self-respect then you will start thinking more positively then you will start feeling more positive then your whole atmosphere around you will start changing from dark to light then you will see yourself as a positive vessel in this world then you will start looking at yourself with self-respect saying look I respect myself too much to let my outside look like this. Now it's time to work on my body. 
because my mind is right. But if we try to start with the body, you're not going to get to the mind. No. It's not impossible for everybody. Some people do it. But speaking in my case is not for me. I hope this message reads somebody. I hope he can touch somebody. I hope that whatever answer that you may be looking for, I hope that this reach you and give you the answer that you need to sit there and reach your goals and potential in your life and realize that all you need is yourself. All you need to do is build your self esteem, build your mental toughness and everything else, including your body will fall in line. Once again, this is Thomas the Great. I hope y'all liked the video. I hope this was informative for the ones that was in need of it. If you like it, I just ask that you hit the like button, hit the no notification bell. That way, when any time I come out with a video, you'll be notified. I hope you subscribe to my channel because I got plenty more content in store. And I just hope y'all be safe throughout all this. Make sure we're taking the right measures to protect us as well as our families. All right? Y'all have a good one.